Good morning, good morning, good morning. Holy God Spirit, bless you. you. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Deal with me. I give you the Coming Welcome to 2023. Ah, Holy it, Spirit, it, uh, deal with me. You go ahead and work with it, 2023. Me. Holy Spirit, deal with me. Let's get our Instagram family in. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit deal with me. In 2023, Holy Spirit, let's do this this morning. Welcome. Happy Holy New Spirit. Year to the School of Holy Spirit. Let's do it. Good morning. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, deal with me. <clears throat> You're washing it down. <laughs> Good morning. Hallelujah. And make it right. Make it right. Make it right. Good morning. Holy Spirit, deal with me. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Holy Spirit, deal with me. I give you authority. Holy Spirit, deal with me. Until all in my life. Good morning, Zoomers. God bless you. Good morning to the conference call. Good morning. Good morning to those of you on Facebook Live. Good morning. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Jackson. Good morning, Pastor Jemison. Good morning, Dr. Spielman. Good morning to those of you on the call, the conference call. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Holy Spirit, deal with me. Holy Spirit, deal with me. Good morning to my pretty sisters, Ruth is St. Clarice. <laughs> Good morning to Elder Carmelita Chestnut. Good morning, Monica. God bless you. Coming up the timeline, Carol with your four. Sonia Wilson. Good morning, my bishop. Good morning, your grace. I'm going to call you again. <laughs> I tried again. I know you're busy. Good morning, darling. Good morning, Ruth Sinclair. Good morning, Dr. Patricia James. Good morning, Evangelist to keep it. God bless you. Saw you on the organ the other day. I was like, all right. <laughs> Good morning to my Instagram family. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Tag and share. Happy 2023 becomes yours. Hallelujah. I do, I do. Till all hey, becomes yours. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes. Holy Spirit, deal with me. Put that in the chat. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. Take what's wrong. Make it right. Throughout the night. Woo! Yes, yes, yes. Holy Spirit, deal with me in 2023 until all becomes I want to be yours yes yes becomes yours Holy Spirit Deal with me. Hallelujah.
his forgiveness. Receive his grace. Woo! It's because the spirit it could be impatient. Could be intolerant. Or whatever it is. <laughs> He's here tonight. I'm a tear. Yes, yeah, yes. He comes. I do. Yes. Good morning, Sister Kirkland. Good morning, Elder Barbara Jackson. I was TJ 470 coming up the fine line. Um, he comes. Till all becomes. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Until all in my life becomes yours. I just want to go back to that a little bit, if you don't mind. I just believe it. I believe it. I believe it. Until all in my life becomes yours. Everybody drop that in the chat. Holy Spirit, deal with me in 2023. Come on. Deal with me, Dr. Aqua. Good morning. Happy New Year. Iris Mitchell, thank you for following. Thank you. Thank you, Rita Swain. Thank you, Charlene Brown. Thank you, Dr. Skillman. Thank you for those of you on Zoom. Thank you for those of you on free conference call. Make it right. Deal throughout this night. Holy Spirit. I can hear Brother Dove sing it. <laughs> of authority. Hallelujah. Until all in my life becomes yours. Drop that in the chat. Drop it now. Holy Spirit, deal with me in 2023. Good morning, good morning, happy new year. Fee, hey Fee. Yes, yes, Betty Mathis. Hallelujah, Valerie Thomas. Sharon Smith, good morning, Doc. Good morning, Pastor William Lamont. Good morning, Dean Lamont. Good morning, Sissy. Good morning, Linda Atlas. Holy Spirit, deal with me in 2023. And make it right. Good morning, Yoshi Shanae. Good morning, Dorian. You hear him? <laughs> Holy Spirit. Deal with me. Woo! Good morning, Richard Horton. Good morning, Mary Milton Spencer. Good morning, good afternoon. Let's like, tag, and share. He comes. I want to be all until all. He comes. Holy Spirit, deal with me. Come on. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, deal with me in 2023. Drop that in the chat. Write that in your journal. Bishop has us journaling. <laughs> Write that in your chat. Write that in your journal. Write that in your Bible. Today, January 3, 2023. Holy Spirit, deal with me. Hey, Shabbat. Show me to me. Yes. As we enter into consecration. 
Yes, yes, yes. Good morning, sister lady. Good morning, Gloria, your sister. Denise Stokes, God bless you. God bless you, a few folks. Good morning, Donna. I'm my daughter. Dean Nicholson, good morning, Elder Pearl. Bottle Pearl, God bless you. Your grace, Bishop Martin. Pastor Graves, good morning, Pastor Kim. <laughs> I want to be yours. Woo! Until. Yes, 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 yes. yes. think this up. Think this up. Ah, hallelujah. Dr. Patricia Jackson, good morning. Good morning, Blackwell. Good morning. Good morning. Those of you coming in on Instagram, good morning, Chaplain. Happy New Year. Bless Granny. Thank you. Coming up the time like I am. Carla, let's go, sugar. Hey, let's go. I wanted to be yours. Janet Rivers Richardson, yes. Holy Spirit, deal with me. Christopher, yes. Ursula, let's go. Holy Spirit, deal with me. I want to be yours. I want to be yours. Oh, good morning and a happy new year. And welcome to 2023 as we move into our third year of the School of Holy Spirit, Pentecost in a Pandemic. Hasn't the Lord been kind? Hasn't the Lord been good? If you are not following us on YouTube, please make sure you subscribe. Also follow our page on Instagram and make sure uh, that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Praise God so that you can be notified uh, when we post new content. Uh, yesterday, we had a long conversation with Roku and some others who want to broadcast School of the Holy Spirit on their channel. I have no idea who Roku is. John Andrew, give me a call so you can tell me what this all means. Uh, but they've been watching us on Facebook. I don't know if Nora Jones is still there, uh, but uh, Facebook certainly has taken on and embraced more uh, content from the faith-based community and others are watching us. Of course, Roku is, I understand, a fire stick and I don't even know what that is. Praise the Lord. I have Comcast. <laughs> and so John, uh, John Andrew will bring me up to speed. The, uh, good morning, precious, and happy new year to you and your beloved husband, your family. Thank you, Roku streaming fire stick. So my sister, have my nephews call me. I don't know, but I got a call from them. They've been trying to get in touch with me through the holidays. We want your content on our network. And I said, okay. So Ch Chaplin said TV is it's a television station that's streaming like fire stick from Amazon Roku. I don't know, praise God, but amen. It's a TV streaming program. Well, they want content from School of Holy Spirit. Wow. So I guess that's good, right? <laughs> I told you 2023, he is opening. Wow. So it's a station, Valley. I have Roku, Roku in my kitchen so I can watch it. Wow. So, amen. Let's give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. Praise uh, for that meeting with them so that we can uh, upload our content from the School of Holy Spirit on Roku. I believe that that's going to uh, take us to more people, I guess, more nations, uh, more opportunities for people to know. Hallelujah. Mm. Mm, mm. Holy Spirit for people to know Holy Spirit. And if you already do not have this book, I don't know why you don't. Living with the advantage. Amen. We're going to be going through this in our Bible study at the cathedral. Even though I wrote it, we're going to be reading through it uh, tomorrow, tonight. We're starting 
with living with the advantage on our Tuesday night live. I'll be teaching uh, for the next few weeks out of this book. How about that? <laughs> Everybody else has started. I figured that I should teach it as well. Uh, so there's a lot going on. Workbook is coming. It's in the making. It's the workbook. And living with the advantage for children. Uh, Dr. Skillman says, I am Roku. A well, amen. <laughs> you have been with me, Janet Rivers Richardson, all three. Renita, wow. Thank God for Renita Edmonds, who does all of the uploads and editing. Thank you, uh, Evangelist Holy Ghost Cathedral, and who currently lives in Atlanta. I'm going to come to Atlanta. Uh, I believe it's the weekend of 17, 18, 19 for my son, Bishop William Murphy three and Danielle. And so Renita, let's get together. Praise God. If you're in the Atlanta area, check us out uh, there at the Dream Center. Praise the Lord. Already booked, already traveling. God is doing some great things. So Roku wants to uh, do this. We're at Dream Center. Gave out 20 to women at a facility that had been abused. Ah, Sandra, really? Wow. <laughs> wow. Woo. Mama Pearl. I'm just overwhelmed. I'm overtaken by this. Sometimes I just have to stop and wait. Give God the glory for this. Praise God. Whoo, hallelujah. Will Bible study be streamed? It will be on a conference call, but on Zoom. Yes, it will be streamed on the Holy Ghost Cathedral's page starting tonight. So you don't want to miss it. I will be live teaching on living with the advantage. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will have me on Roku. Woo! I don't know what that means, but we give God the glory for what he is doing in our midst. So if you don't have this and you want to join us at the cathedral, you can go to um, www.gotellit.org, get our book. And if you, if you buy it from the cathedral, from the website at Go Tell It, you will not get the paper copy. You will get the hard copy and I will sign it if you request it. If you buy the book from Amazon, you'll get the paperback, all right? You can only get the hardback at the network's website. And that's www.gotellit.org. Uh, Roku, okay, somebody did a little egg. Is a brand of hardware for digital media, media players. Thank you so much, Evangelist Akiba. It's like Apple TV. I don't even know what that is. Praise the Lord. <laughs> hey, hallelujah. I don't get to watch. I'm working. <laughs> but God is so good. And so we are excited about Holy Spirit's Center, a center for Holy Spirit Studies. And all the things that God is doing. So Holy Spirit, deal with me in 2023. I want you to get that. Thank you, Pastor Kim. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you, Kimberly Long. What's up, Lisa Proctor? Come up the timeline. Really, Chief said, it's like Netflix. Wow. Well, they want Holy Spirit. School of the Holy Spirit. I know she's like, oh, mama, that's more work for me. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but we are moving forward in God. Our scripture reading this morning uh, from Bishop Jackson is where I'm going to pick up. So if you have your paper Bibles, praise God, Elder Carol Ford, I'm so excited as well that we are live together here. Isn't that wonderful? Now, listen to me carefully as we move into what I believe God is saying uh, today. Father, we love you and thank you for brand new year, brand new mercy, brand new day, 
brand new, brand new, brand new. Thank you for brand new revelations and insights of Holy Spirit in our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. Elder Carmelita says, I have a copy, have read it. Wow. So you got to jump on for me to teach now. I'm going to actually be teaching it starting tonight. Praise God on our uh, conference call line and on Zoom on our Facebook page, Holy Ghost Cathedral of Detroit. So if you're not already following follow us there will not be on this page it will be on the church's page so roku has approached me others have said listen we want to run our commercials on your channel some of you have been sending stars i have nothing to do with that that is because we have reached over 100 000 viewers we have reached over 100 000 viewers and Facebook assigns stars so that people can boost it and give. Wow, look what God is doing. I need John Andrew Hart. I need Elder Demetrius Norman. And I need Omega George to schedule a uh, conference call with Bishop Jackson and myself as we move forward. Praise God. Glory. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So that means that we have reached over 100,000 viewers on Facebook. That's amazing. School of Holy Spirit. So you can't tell me that people don't want to know about Holy Spirit. They do. They really do. And God has given us this assignment. But it is all made possible because of you. I couldn't do it without you. So I want us, let's give God praise. Those of you on Instagram, YouTube, in the replay, Zoom, free conference call. You are pushing the numbers. Doors are opening. Thank you, Dr. Noreen. Absolutely. Because of the connection, God is opening doors for you, Dr. Noreen, and everyone who is connected to this good ground. And stay tuned for a big announcement coming very soon praise god so thank god for this hallelujah we are on our way to get the world to pentecost he said get my church to pentecost and that is what uh, we have been doing by the grace of god it is certainly by the grace of god now listen to me carefully as we move now into this moment I want us to make it up in our minds to walk in the spirit, to live in the spirit, to think in the spirit, and to be available to Holy Spirit in every part of your life. Get the judge. Hey, Pamela Rivers. Hey, Pam, which I'm pretty self. Juanita, God bless you. Look at Holy Spirit. Sheila Donald Johnson, good morning, Pastor. Kenya J. Green, good morning. My God, let's, let's be very intentional that we make up our minds to walk in the Spirit, to live in the Spirit. Hallelujah. To think in the Spirit and to be available for Holy Spirit in every part of your life. I'm gonna give you time to get that down. Write it in the chat. John, did you hear me? John and Elder uh, Demetrius and Omega, I wanna call with you guys. Roku has approached us about airing our, our content of the School of Holy Spirit. Others are coming to us. We wanna put our products on your page. Of course, of course, that's paid advertising. All because we have reached over one, we've really reached uh, almost 200,000 viewers. And so this is amazing how God is doing this. Now, make up your mind. Somebody write this down. Make up your mind to walk in the spirit, to live in the spirit, to think in the spirit, 
and to be available for Holy Spirit, hallelujah, to be available to Holy Spirit in every part of your life. I want you to hear this very clearly. To walk in the spirit. Thank you. Someone's grabbing it. Gerald, Pastor Gerald, thank you. Hallelujah. To walk in the spirit, live in the spirit, think in the spirit, and to be available to Holy Spirit in 2023. 2023. To walk, live, and think in the Holy Spirit and to be available. Listen to me carefully. To be available. Now, the foundation of your spirit walk is the word of God. The foundation of your spirit walk, your spirit existence would be the scriptures. Now, listen to me. The more of the scriptures that you know, the more intimate your walk with Holy Spirit is going to be, all right? They walk hand in hand. Jesus says, my word is spirit and my word is life. And what I am encountering more and more is that the word will lead you to Holy Spirit. And Holy Spirit will lead you to the scriptures. So there is this relationship between the scriptures and your spiritual walk. The scriptures will lead you to Holy Spirit. And Holy Spirit will lead you to the scriptures. So in making up your mind, to walk in the spirit, to live in the spirit, to think in the spirit, to be available to Holy Spirit, you must now refresh your knowledge of the scriptures, All right? You must refresh. I don't say you don't know it. I don't say you have not read it. I am simply saying that you must now be refreshed in your knowledge of scriptures, all right? That means that starting today, starting this month, that you will become a reader of scripture. Not any scripture, not random scriptures, but starting with Genesis, reread the Bible. Reread the Bible. Somebody write that down. Reread the Bible. So when we say Holy Spirit, deal with me in 2023, then I am going to personally invest more time in the reading of scripture. Many people think they know God, but they don't know God. Ah, what do you mean? I know God. I've been not. Okay. Hear me good. Thea, pray for me. If you know God, you know him by the revelation of the scriptures. You can't make up your own image of God. You can't make up what you want God to be like. Many of you know the God you made. Many of you know the God you've created. Many of you know the God of your mother or your father or your shepherds. Many of you know the God of, 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 uh, I don't want to say that, Lord Jesus, help me, <laughs> of your flesh. 
You know, the God of your imagination. I was talking with Dr. Kadisha and others on yesterday, several of you I reached out to. And I said, I'm concerned that your knowledge of God is superficial. I'm concerned that your knowledge of God is religious, but it is not credible because it is not based on the revelation of God that he gives us through the scriptures. Ooh, I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to tell you something very, very necessary. If you want Holy Spirit to deal with you, Holy Spirit deal with me in 2023, then I've got to know what God has said about himself. Whoa, glory to God. <laughs> Dr. Henry, listen, what has God said about himself? What has God said about himself? And 2023, there will be tumultuous moments and tumultuous circumstances and tumultuous situations that you and I will not be able to shout our way through or to run down the aisle and give somebody a high five and be victorious. You can't make God in your own image. You have made God in your own image and after your own likeness, but that's not the God of the Bible. Woo, woo. You can't make up your own God. You can't make up your own rules. Good morning, Lady Dilworth HB. Good morning, darling. Been praying for you. My God, you and your family, my goodness. You can't make up your own God. You can't create God in your own image and after your own likeness and breathe into the nostrils of God your breath and God becomes a living being based upon you, your subjectivity, your background, your doctrines, your liturgy. No, that's not the God of the Bible. That's the God you made. That's the God you grew up with. And look here, y'all want to argue with me. Don't argue with me. <laughs> Don't argue with me. I'm telling you what will save your life. If you want Holy Spirit to deal, then Holy Spirit is going to lead you to the scriptures. So I want you and all of your making resolutions, I want you to resolve to reread the Bible, starting in Genesis. <laughs> oh, Dr. Kadisha, bless her heart. She was just one. I talked about six, but she, listen, you don't know God. I do know God. No, you don't because you don't know the Bible. You know a caricature of God. You know an imagery of God. You know a church God. You know the preaching God, but you don't know God. And you will not know God because God reveals who God is through the scriptures. Not in dreams and visions, not in prayer. You cannot know God without reading the scriptures. And this is why many of you are not successful in natural life. You're not successful in relationships. You're not successful in your spirituality. You're not successful in your finances. You have to know God and who God is, is revealed by God. For no man can know God but the Spirit of God. 
and the spirit of God will lead you to the scriptures and the scriptures will lead you to the spirit of God and the spirit of God will lead you to the scriptures and the scriptures will lead you to the spirit of God. I'm going to say it again. And Holy Spirit will lead you to the scriptures and scriptures. Listen to me carefully. Holy Spirit, deal with me in 2023. How? Based on what? What is the operating system of your life? It cannot be prayer. It cannot be shouting and jumping and dancing. It cannot be preaching. It cannot be ministry. It can't be any of those things got to be the scriptures. If you want to know who I am, ask me and I'll tell you. Come sit with me. Let me talk to you. Let me share with you who I am. That's what God is saying to us. You want to know God without the scriptures. It's impossible. You want to know God just because you have an amazing time with God. <laughs> Felicia says, all right. Uh, you, and you don't know why you're not having success. You don't know the scriptures. You don't know the Bible. It's just that simple. You love church. You love preaching. But you don't know the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Because let me tell you about faulty thinking and lie based thinking. When you think you got it, you become arrogant and puffed up. You know, listen to me. God's word is the guide, Holy Spirit is the teacher. Holy Spirit teaches us from the scriptures. So I'm going to challenge all of us to go back to Genesis. Don't start in the New Testament. You've never read the full Old Testament. And you've got to read. Don't study. Don't get a study book or study Bible or study tools. Forget Vines right now. Forget Strong's. Forget Young's. Forget it all. Forget pulpit commentary. Matthew Henry. Forget J. Vernon McGee. You don't want any annotations. You don't want notes. You don't want commentary. You want God to reveal himself to you through his word. Woo, hallelujah, hallelujah. We don't know the Bible. We don't know the Bible. And you have to know the Bible. Start with it. You have to read it from cover to cover. I asked the question, every person I spoke with, how many times have you read the Bible from cover to cover? I didn't say you didn't read the Bible. I said, how many times have you read it from cover to cover? You sat down with it and you began to read it from the first word in the beginning. If you miss that, you're going to mess up. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That's where we start. Woo. From cover to cover. You have been preaching. You have been to school. You've written papers about it. You have taught Sunday school lessons. But you've never read. So you have this 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 perception that you know scripture when you really don't. When you really don't, stop skipping and go straight through one page at a time. Woo, from kiva to kiva, from cover to cover. Now, what you will do is open your capacity to walk in the spirit. To walk in the spirit, 
you will enlarge your capacity for hearing the Holy Spirit. You will enlarge your capacity for obedience to Holy Spirit. You are not struggling with what you know. It is your ignorance of scripture that's killing you. It's your ignorance of scripture. Listen to me carefully. Oh my God, I know people, they love God. You love God, but you love who you don't know. You love him and you love him from, from, from a perspective. You love him from a perspective of who others have said that God is. But you don't know him unless you have studied those scriptures. And it is in the scriptures that God teaches us who he is. Now, when I talk about this, hallelujah, I know that I'm digging in because we must be intentional this year to walk in the spirit, to live in the spirit, to talk in the spirit, and to be available to Holy Spirit. But how can Holy Spirit teach, lead, guide, perfect us when we don't have the scriptures as our operating system? Oh, my God. Somebody write in the chat. Oh, I need scripture as my operating system. The scriptures. Oh, my God. I can't tell you. And, and and I was saying to the Lord last night, I was saying to the Lord last night, I was saying, God, I always am such the oddball. I am such the oddball. Why am I always the oddball? Why am I always the oddball? Stuff people is, is jumping up and down and shouting about. I'm like, really? Wow. You know, and we use all kinds of excuses and justifications for doing things outside of scripture. I'm not mad at nobody. I'm just trying to be a voice that I feel like John crying in the wilderness to prepare you the way of the Lord, that we're going to be held accountable for the word of God. Hallelujah. I need scripture as my operating system. And so reading the script, you want to preach, you want to be ordained, you want to lead, you want, but you don't, you've never read the Bible from cover to cover. To sit down and read it, you lead a worship team and you've never read the Bible. You lead, you, you lead a ministry team but you've never read the Bible. You lead, you lead an intercessory prayer team and nobody on the team has ever read the Bible. You lead a youth group, but you've never read the Bible. You lead a men's group, but you've never read the Bible. You lead all of these different places and spaces, but you've never read the Bible. It has just been the goodness of the Lord and Holy Spirit that has covered your nakedness, that has covered your ignorance. But in 2023, you will be naked. You will be uncovered. I'm telling you, I'm warning you now that your operating system must be the scriptures. And all of the software now can work properly because you have an updated operating system. Who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? You don't know the scriptures. You err because you don't know the scriptures. Neither the power of God. Ugh. Whoa, you err because you do not know the scriptures, neither the power.
power of God. Y'all not going to say nothing. Woo, you're not going to like this, but I'm telling you right now, <laughs> this is where the body of Christ is failing. You are failing in your ignorance of the scriptures. Barbara, I'm sounding the alarm. It is so strong on me. I cannot. I'm telling you, I started yesterday. If the scriptures are not your operating system, then your software will not function properly. What do you mean software? Your life, your relationships, your money. Come on here. Your choices, your character, your, your career, uh, your parenting, your husbanding, wifing, your singleness. All of that stuff is software, but none of it will operate without the right operating system. You don't know the scriptures, folks. You don't know the scriptures and you can't apply a Pentecostal lifestyle to something that has no operating system built on the word of God as its foundation. You don't know the scriptures. You don't, you teach and don't know the Bible. You don't know the Bible. Woo! I'm not impressed with nothing except the word of God. Somebody write that down. <laughs> Oh, Pastor Davis, thank you. We must grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You don't know the scriptures. You want to be impressive with your giving, but you don't even give according to the scriptures. You serve, but you don't serve according to the scriptures. Listen, you sing, but you don't sing because there is there is a foundation of the scripture there. So everything else is emotions. Oh, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed with nothing but the word of God. I'm not impressed with how, how you jump and shout and twirl and foam, how you can get people excited. I'm not impressed. Where is the substantive of, of the word of God in your mouth? Where is the substantive word of God in your mouth? It's not there. And the devil is deceiving people to make you think you're full of the Holy Spirit, to make you think that you are pleasing God and you don't know his word. This is the biggest deception of all. There's no depth. There's nothing. There's no subs, subs. I'm trying to say that word substantive. There's no depth. There's no substantive value to what you are doing because it's not based on scripture. You must start with the scriptures. You must, he said, my word is spirit and my word is life. And now, if you want to have a contact with Holy Spirit, if you want to have contact with Holy Spirit, then you will start with the scriptures. I want to show you this. We're going to go to Colossians in just a minute. My time then moved on, Lord Jesus. <laughs> But I want to show you something. I want you to see this. I want you to go with me to, let's, let's go over to Peter right quick. I was going to, let me get to my notes. Ah, <laughs> Hallelujah. I, I want you to look at this. Second Peter, let's go to second Peter. I want to go to Colossians, but. I want to go back to where Bishop was in Colossians, but and I'll get back there. But 
Run over to 2 Peter for just a moment. Hallelujah. 2 Peter chapter number 1. 2 Peter chapter number 1. 2 Peter chapter number 1. Hallelujah. 2 Peter chapter number 1. And um, I want to... Let's look at verse 16. Let's look at verse 16. 2 Peter, your paper Bibles. 2 Peter chapter number 1 and verse 16. For we did not follow cunningly devised faith. We did not devise, this is Peter talking to us. We did not devise, we did not follow cunningly devised fables. When we made known to you the power and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. Now remember that Peter, James, and John were up on the mountain of transfiguration with Jesus. So they're telling us, Peter is saying, and if you read this whole chapter, chapter number one is one of the most powerful epistles uh, of Peter, that, that chapters of the epistles that Peter has written. And he talks about how it's just so much in this chapter, but Peter says, we did not follow cunningly devised fables. Oh, my God. Pastor Sheila Johnson, how many people? Pastor John Davis, come on. How many people, Bishop, are following fables? These folk ain't preaching no scripture. These people are not following scriptures. These people are not preaching scriptures. They're not preaching scripture. These are cunningly devised fables. Moni, listen, these people are not preaching scriptures. They are preaching cunningly devised fables to entertain people who don't know scripture. Albert Benyard, they are not. Doc Brock, they are not. They are not teaching the Bible. They don't know the Bible. They have not studied the Bible. I was talking to my son, uh, ba Pastor Brock, and he was saying how when he was growing up uh, with Pastor Davis, others were outside playing, and Pastor Davis had him sitting at the dining room table with Bibles and books. And he's one of the most phenomenal preachers in the city of Detroit. People don't know it, but Brock is an amazing preacher. And I don't say that because he's my son. I say that because there's substantive word. He don't preach as long as I do. He, he get to it and go be done. But the, the, the substance is there. These people are not crystal. These people are not preaching the word. And folk are not following scriptures. Oh my God, Prophet Roseman, one of God's greatest prophets in the earth. How honored I am you're here. These people are not, are not following scripture. They are following cunningly devised fables. Peter said, that's not what we did. When we came to you, we made known to you the power of the coming of the Lord. We were eyewitnesses of his majesty. We don't even know these songs. The songs, Pastor Kim, have nothing to do with scripture. These prayers have nothing to do with scripture. Do you know you're supposed to pray the word of God? How can you be a great prayer warrior and you don't know scripture? Oh, 
y'all just got stuff going on. You got you hot and, and you got good music in the background. You got good, good organists, but you ain't saying nothing. These are commonly devised fables. For he received from God the Father honor and glory when such a voice came to him from the excellent glory. This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Now watch this. And we heard this voice which came from heaven when we were with him on the holy mountain. <laughs> Whoa, glory to God. Watch this. And so we have the prophetic word confirmed, which you do well to heed as a light that shines in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your heart. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of scripture is for private interpretation. Good God. Watch this. For prophecy. I'm in verse 21 of 2 Peter chapter number 1. I need you to hear this. For prophecy never came by the will of man. But holy people of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. When you ignore scripture, you ignore Holy Spirit. Good God Almighty, I'm going to get up, I'm going to run up off this camera. When you ignore scripture, you are ignoring Holy Spirit because no scripture was given by the will of man. But all scripture was given by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. So that when people wrote the word, they were moved by Holy Spirit. You can't walk in the spirit live in the spirit, dwell in the spirit, and you don't know the spirit word? When you ignore scripture, you ignore Holy Spirit. Many people don't even know that they are grieving Holy Spirit. You say, how can, how can, how can I grieve the Holy Spirit? Because you don't know the scriptures. You grieve Holy Spirit because you don't know scripture. It was the no, it was Holy Spirit that birthed Jesus. And Jesus is the word. You wouldn't have Jesus without Holy Spirit. And Jesus is the living word. And so in like manner, the scriptures have been birthed by Holy Spirit the same way Jesus was birthed by Holy Spirit. So if you ignore Jesus, you ignore Holy Spirit. If you ignore scripture, you ignore Holy Spirit. You cannot be led by the Spirit of God and you despise the Word of God. Who is Jesus? Jesus is the living word. How did we get Jesus? Holy Spirit overshadowed Mary 
and Mary conceived. Peter says in like manner is how we got scripture. We got scripture because men and women of God were moved by the Holy Spirit. Men and women of God were moved by Holy Spirit and they wrote based upon the moving of Holy Spirit. You are not praying if you don't know scriptures. If you're not living, if you don't know the word of God, Holy Spirit has nothing to lead you to. And to lead and to and to grab a hold of to try to turn you to help you make the course corrections. You can sense conviction, but now how do I make the course corrections if I don't go back to the scriptures? For the scriptures are birthed by Holy Spirit, the same way Jesus is birthed by Holy Spirit. So how can you be led by the scripture and not know Holy Spirit? How can you be led by Holy Spirit and not know scripture? Folks, it's impossible. We have been deceived. It's the biggest deception that has ever been launched on the church is that you are pleasing God, serving God, and you don't know the scripture. What a deception. What a what a move of hell to come against the people of God to make you excited about church, excited about preaching, excited about praying, excited about everything you're doing, and don't know the scriptures. You got to know that Satan is one of the most cunning, most subtle warriors that has ever been released. What a trick he has played upon the people of God. To make you think that you really doing something and you don't know the scriptures. I got to go. You don't know the scriptures. You don't know the scriptures. So you cannot be led by Holy Spirit. You think you're doing stuff. You think that's the trick, that's the subtlety, that's the, that's the mockery of, of the devil. Biblical ignorance is killing us. You cannot be led by the Spirit of God. You can't put this, you can't put off lying. You can't put off anger. You can't get rid of none of that. Until your heart, your mind has been transformed and arrested by the word of God. Now, Holy Spirit has something to work with. I got to go. <laughs> Holy Spirit, deal with me in 2023. School of the Holy Spirit, don't miss it. Share it, like, tag, and share. Please, those of you on the replay, go to our YouTube page. This is going to be a great.